Good morning. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Resigned advisor to the National Task Force, Tony Liachon, says he is open to take part in the ombuds- Ombudsman's probe of the DOH. Speaking to One News' is the Chiefs, Liachon, who earlier said that he was forced to step down, says he is ready to answer if invited. Ombudsman Samuel Martres ordered a probe into supposed lapses on the part of the Health Department shortly after Liachon announced his resignation. Liachon also said that the investigation could actually sort out and improve the system. Pag inimbitahan po ako, okay naman, lalo na doon sa data po para magkaroon ng clarity. This is not in any way naman to hurt our colleagues from the Department of Health. Here are the other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The DSWD uncovers around 22,000 duplicate beneficiaries of the SAP or Social Amelioration Program. This comes as the department validates the distribution of the first tranche of cash aid amounting to 5,000 to 8,000 pesos each. Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia signs an executive order reclassifying Talisay City from modified enhanced community quarantine to a general community quarantine. And Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere dispels circulating reports that the entire Cebu province has been placed under ECQ. She says that except for Cebu City and Talisay, the entire province remains under GCQ. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.